Hey, y'all. So today we're going to be making this cheesy, amazing lasagna roll-ups. Now, this recipe is going to change your life. And trust me, you're not going to need another lasagna recipe after this. You won't. I'm just going to stir the meat until it's no longer pink in color and then I'm going to add my veggies. I'm just adding some red bell peppers that I've cut up and some chives that I also cut up in there as well. Now I didn't use the whole pack of the ground turkey but I did use the whole pack of the ground pork. I used half of the ground turkey. I will try to use a more direct measurement. Um, sorry, list a uh, more direct measurement in the description bar below. Um, so be sure to check that out. But yeah, and I'm using this tree cheese sauce by Francesco Rinaldi. I'm pronouncing it right. Now, this sauce is amazing stuff. Um, any brand of three cheese sauce really works, but I just use this brand. I'm not too sure if there is much of a uh, difference in the distinct taste, but yeah. Now I did go ahead and add some Italian seasoning to the meat sauce and I'm going to add some ketchup in there as well. I like mixing both the tomato sauce and ketchup together. I feel like it balances out each other and yeah, I'm sprinkling a little bit of garlic powder in there as well and i'm gonna put lots of sugar now this may look like a lot of sugar but it's not really because all that acidic from the tomato sauces the ketchup and the um three cheese sauce we kind of need that sugar to balance it off and it really does not make it sweet you don't even know if it have sugar in there but trust me it makes all the difference so I'm using some adobo seasoning. I'm just going to put a generous sprinkle in there and the magic. This is where the magic comes from. I'm just going to add some heavy cream in there. A little goes a long way in this. Trust me, a little bit of heavy cream in there. Okay. Yeah. The meat sauce is basically done. So leave that there moving along to um, get our pasta started. I'm just going to salt the water and add a little bit of oil in there. So when I add the pasta, it don't really stick. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And when it comes up to a boil, I am going to add my lasagna noodles in there. I think I used um, almost one pack of the lasagna noodles. So I'm just going to add them in there and you want to cook them for um, like 10 minutes max. No more than 10 minutes because you do not want it to be too soft and plus we're going to be baking it again anyway. So it's going to finish cook just enough that it's flexible enough that we could roll it, right? So after 10 minutes when it's done, we're going to drain our lasagna noodles. And then we're going to shock it with cold water to stop the cooking process because you do not want the lasagna noodles to get too soft it's going to start to tear and plus as I said we're going to be baking it again so yeah so now we're gonna head on over to making our cheese sauce I have um, some cream cheese here and the cheese that I'm using is um, from the brand Borden. I will link it in the description bar below. And it's their triple cheddar blend. It was a blend of white cheddar, I think. Uh, it's sharp cheddar. I'm, I'm going to link it in the description bar. I also added some mozzarella cheese in there as well. And I am adding some frozen spinach that I've thawed out and squeezed all of the water. Well, as much water that I could get out of it. I don't recommend you going and buy actual spinach and trying to cook it down. It's too much work and it's going to be more money to actually get the amount of spinach, you know, because you, you buy like a whole 
container of spinach and you cook it down and it's basically like nothing so i recommend you get the frozen spinach right so there's that so let's now get on over to making our lasagna rolls so i'm gonna place a little dollop of our cheese mixture um on a sheet now it's best that you use like a pan like this to like lay out your lasagna sheets because it's easier to roll it like that right so yeah right so now i'm gonna spread that out and um yeah this is a little messy it's gonna get a little messy so make sure your hands are clean and well you, you in the kitchen you should have known that from the beginning but um in case i have to remind you <laughs> i'm just saying right and just gonna be spreading that out and then we're gonna do the same thing with our meat sauce right And then we're going to start from the very top and we're going to roll, 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 start from the very top and take your time with this so, um, you know, you don't tear the noodles and yeah, from the very top and roll, simple. And then we're going to place our lasagna rolls on top of that. And then we're going to take the last bit of sauce that we have and we're going to top it on the rolls. And then we're going so to... So now I'm going to pour a little bit of, of my cheese. three cheese sauce in the bottom of the pan. And I'm just going to spread that out.
Now this is my cheese of choice. I'm using this thick cut ultimate pizza blend by Borden as well. I'm going to try to link everything in the description bar as I tell you guys. But this cheese, wow. This cheese really did make this so amazing and so cheesy. This cheese was perfect and I'm also going to be putting some of the Borden triple cheddar on the top of there as well, right? So that's what she's looking like so we're gonna bake this at 350 for half an hour with the um, foil on and then we're gonna remove it and let it bake for another 10 to 15 minutes and there she is the finished results and I did sprinkle a little parsley on top of it to be bougie <laughs> But you guys, listen to me. This is one of the best lasagnas that you're going to ever have in your life. Trust me. I think the ground pork mixed with a little bit of heavy cream and the cream cheese did something to this. Look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you beautiful people in my next video. Later.